Hi, my name is Kim Brown. Today is the 11th day of our 40 day Lenten reflection series. And today I want to focus on intercessory prayer. Now, most of us, when we think about intercessory prayer, we're thinking about the saints in heaven praying for those of us on earth. The reality is this is true. But intercessory prayer is more than just asking the saints in heaven to pray for us. It's about you and I participating and being those people of intercessory prayer. We need to be praying for the people here and now. So at mass, in the very beginning of mass, people confess their sins. They, they acknowledge those sins to their brothers and sisters, recognizing this community. And then they go on to ask their brothers and sisters at mass to pray for them. Have you ever left Mass and thought to yourself, man, there is a thousand people there and I need to be praying for them, asking the Lord to help them overcome their sin? Probably most of you have not left Mass thinking about that. But that's what we commit to do. At a baptismal Mass, we agree to help raise that child in the faith. But most of us will never even come in contact with that child after that Mass. How do we help raise that child in the faith? Pray. We should be praying for those parents. We should be praying for that child. We should be praying for the godparents. We should be praying for those that are involved in elementary formation, middle school formation, high school formation, adult formation. Do you want to transform your parish? It's, if you want to transform your parish, the best thing to do is to pray for your parish and pray for specific needs of your parish. Your prayer and the community's prayer will transform your parish in an amazing way. It will transform it more than any dynamic speaker that could ever come to your parish for a mission. It will transform your parish more than any one single book you hand out during Lent or Easter or Christmas. It will transform your parish more than any new priest coming to your parish and giving dynamic homilies. It will transform your parish more than any single music ministry choir that's going to sing during the Mass. All those things are good. And we can pray for all those things, right? We can pray that our parish brings in a mission and a speaker that's going to transform our parish and touch people so that it leads to conversion and a deeper and a desire for a deeper relationship. We can pray that, that our music ministers have a better understanding of what's happening at the Mass so that they're able to better minister through the music selections that they choose. We can pray for our priests and deacons for homilies that are going to be able to teach the people and also lead the people to a deeper conversion. We can pray for all these things, and we should be praying for all these things. So you and I need to become people of prayer. So the next time you go to church, I want you to look to the people in front of you, and if you're on the front pew, then look to the people maybe across. Look to the people to your right, look to the people to your left, look to the people behind you, and make it your goal to pray for those people this week. And before you go to church, I want you to maybe think about your neighbors. Maybe you know your neighbors well and you know what they're struggling with and how you can pray for them. And maybe you don't know your neighbors and so you're gonna have to pray for them and just you know let the Lord know, Lord, I know you know what they need. I pray that they have a relationship with you and that relationship can grow. Help to you know, strengthen their marriage, help to, you know, for their children to know they're loved. You can offer those prayers up. So think about those people close to you your family and your friends, but also think about your neighbors, think about your colleagues and those other people you work with. We need to become people of intercessory prayer. We can always go and ask God for prayers for ourselves, but we also need to ask for prayers for other people. And we need to become those people. So no matter what your physical ability is, you might be 99 years old and wheelchair bound, but you're able to offer up intercessory prayer. You might be a five-year-old and maybe you don't understand the complexities of a divorce, but you understand the concept of a kid having a mom and a dad that love them. And maybe that's why you can pray for your ki the kids in your class. Let us become intercessory prayer people and let us help those children that are our children also themselves become intercessory prayer people. And this Lent, maybe every day you, from going forward, you decide to make today the day that you're gonna offer up prayers for this person. And come up with a specific person. And, and come up with a specific plan. Maybe you think of a ministry at your parish that needs help. Pray for them, right? Throughout the scriptures, we see people acting on behalf of other people by offering prayer. We know Jesus' first miracle was performed on behalf of his mother going on behalf of the bride and groom, asking Jesus to intercede on their behalf. You and I need to be like Mary, and you and I need to go to God, interceding on behalf of other people. God is love, let the kingdom know.